In this video, we'll see how to do question 5 from the Practice for Applications E8. The question reads, the town of Nowhere Spatial, USA, operates a rubbish waste disposal facility that is overloaded if its 5,045 households discard waste with weights having a mean that exceeds 26.94 pounds per week. For many different weeks, it is found that the samples of 5,045 households have weights that are normally distributed with a mean of 26.53 pounds and a standard deviation of 12.06 pounds. So clearly the original population of all the household rubbish amounts um, leads to a sampling distribution of sample means. And the sample size is the 5,045. So we're taking 5,045 samples from the population of Nowhere Spatial USA and we know that the mean of the sampling distribution will be the same. It'll still be 26.53. Uh, but the standard deviation won't, right? The standard deviation needs to be adjusted. And so we take the 12.06 and divide by the square root of the sample size, in this case, 5,045. And that's the sampling distribution for the, sorry, that's the standard deviation for the sampling distribution. Now you want the probability that something in the sampling distribution is greater than 26.94 and we can get that just by using the normal CDF command. So, okay, these, these samples are certainly large enough for the central limit theorem to guarantee that the sampling distribution is normal. So we can use the normal distribution, use normal CDF, and we want the probability that the random variable is greater than 26.94. So we'd start at 26.94 and put an upper bound of 1E99 because we want to go with everything greater than that. The mean will be the same as the population mean and the standard deviation will be the adjusted standard deviation we just found. Right, we'll take the population standard deviation and divide by the square root of the sample size. Rounded to four decimal places, it would be 0 0.0079. We can find this same thing using Excel. Just record the mean and standard deviation for the population. Make a note of the sample size we're using to get the sampling distribution. Remember that the mean of the sampling distribution is the same as the mean of the population, and that the standard deviation must be adjusted by dividing by the square root of the sample size. So we take the standard deviation of the population, which is in B3, and divide by the square root of the sample size we're using, which is in B5. Since we want the area to the right, we need to do 1 minus normdist, because normdist finds the area to the left. And we want to use the 26.94 is given in the problem, and the mean is the mean in B6, the mean of the sampling distribution, and the mean of the population, they're the same. Standard deviation, we need to use the sampling distribution, standard deviation, and one at the end to get us the answer. Of course, it's the same. So, one thing you should think about when you interpret this is this is a small number. This is less than 1% chance of this happening. 
since it's such a small number, you might start to wonder why this happened. I mean, this is a very large sample size, right? So um, we should have ruled out any sort of statistical anomalies. Why are we? Why is there such a small chance of this happening? And if you think to the critical thinking, we thought of some hypotheses, right? It could be a fluke, uh, but with a large sample size like that, you really not expect that. Uh, it could be that the population mean is actually not correct. And that might relate to this question here. Uh, is this an acceptable level or should action be taken to correct a problem or an overloaded system? Um, so the answer is yes. Uh, this is an acceptable level because it is unusual, right? This probability is less than 5%, so this is an unusual occurrence. And, and what is this occurrence? This is the system being overloaded. When the average household waste is greater than 26.94, then you have overloaded the disposal facility. Okay, so we've been calculating the chances of this facility getting overloaded. It's such a small chance of this happening that we don't really need to worry about taking action to correct a problem um, because we have less than 1% chance of this happening. So that's the idea there as we move from the numerical answer to deciding how to deal with this. There, there actually is no problem here uh, because we were looking at the hypothetical scenario of the system being overloaded and there's such a small chance of that happening that we say, hey, there's no problem.